Today on the channel, we storm into this review on foot with the NECA Last Ronin Footbot. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! Welcome back to the channel for another NECA Last Ronin unboxing and review. And today on the channel, we bring to you a footbot. But for all your footbot needs and a whole lot more, make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10% on all in stock items. Anything over 79 does ship free. Got to get a deal out there. And like these other Last Ronin figures, Best Buy seems to be the place to find them, at least on store shelves right now. Seems to be the easiest place to get them. Or off of their website. That's what I actually did right here. Uh, Best Buy, a sleeper spot for action figures in this day and age. A worth a once a month trip, if you ask me. Uh, there it is. There it goes. But of course, the footbot, foot soldiers of the past. Now a footbot here. And we've had foot soldiers as bots in the past, so I guess that's no different. But we're building out our last Ronin universe is what we're doing. We've had a lot of uh, unboxings on the channel already. And a lot recently here with this latest wave coming out to us. And of course, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. So without further ado, let's dive into this old foot bot here. And man, my feet are killing me with these foot bots. But Last Ronin style packaging, of course, NECA style packaging. Last Ronin graphics up there. Foot bot breaking through down over in the bottom. And then, of course, we got that mural. Of course, we know all this packaging does combine, which I think is really cool. Makes me wish I would have saved my packaging, but I love the looks of that. Get the classic Last Ronin look over here. Number 10 in the line is this figure here. On the back, some glamour shots. We got the blurb at the bottom as well. And then on the inside, of course, traditional NECA. We do got a little glamour shot over there. And then you got the figure in the package. But let's see what it says about this foot bot. And I don't think it says anything. It's just the generic copy here, which is, uh, give us a little bit of something here. Not just generic. What are, what are we doing, NECA? Come on. Uh, who is the last run in a future battle ravaged New York City? A lone surviving turtle embarks on a seemingly hopeless mission seeking justice for the family he lost. From legendary uh, turtle crow creators Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird, get ready for the final story of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, three decades in the making. What terrible events destroyed his family and left New York a crumbling post-apocalyptic nightmare? All will be revealed in this climatic turtle tale that sees longtime friends become enemies and new allies emerging in the most unexpected places. Can the surviving turtle triumph? Let's hope. Let's hope. It's it's a marathon, not a race, is what we're going to say right there. And we're going to throw that. We're going to give the old see you later. Goodbye. All right, plastic prison clip strips for days. Four days going on here. And we're going to try to get him out. We're going to go through the front. I always prefer going through the front, but you guys know me. I'll go through the back if I have to. If I got to go through the back, uh, whatever it takes to get that job done, I'm not opposed. So let's see here. Can I get the shoulders? Oh my gosh. Clip strip city. What are we doing here? We do got all kinds of accessories with this foot bot. See you later. Goodbye. See you later. Goodbye. Whoa, we're losing stuff. We're losing things. Oh my gosh. What are we doing? What are we doing here? Uh oh, we got. We're locked in at the arm. Always a pain here. And Todd McFarlane's just chuckling from the couch because I give him such a hard time on all these clips. And I guess uh, the foot soldier got some of that same medicine going on as well. You can get that one right there. There it is. And there it is. Clip strips. Skyhook. See you later. Like a young Jabbar. That's what it is. Like a young Kareem. All right, clip strips over to the side. Clip strips right here. Now, we did come with a little protector cap on. I found that to be a little interesting. And I did lose one little piece down here. Going to grab that. It was a hand. Oh, you don't want to lose a hand. Nothing worse than losing a hand here. But now, the foot bot is out of the package. Clip strips for days. And we're ready to go. Ready to go. Let's dive in. Let's start with the hands as we usually do here. And this foot bot, he came to fight. He's got robotic fists ready to go. Looking good. We got splayed out hands, very interesting, just two fingers there. 
You got a thumb kind of tucked in. I guess this is the Three Stooges one. You're going to poke you right in the eyes. That's what this one's going to be about. So we do have that. We do get two gripping hands with the side-to-side -side hinge. And then we get two more gripping hands with the side-to-side -side hinge. So choose your own uh, gripping hands. Basically the same fingers and hands almost. I mean, just a little different, but not a ton of difference between those. So is what it is. You do get two katana blades that would make Leonardo blush, I am sure. Very robotic, very mechanical looking here. Almost looks like computerly done. So he really uh, playing that robot gimmick to the end here is what's going on. You got the gray handle, of course, a little uh, lighter gray in the middle, and then you got the big silver blade. Got dings and dents into it. It's the swords that have been used a time or two. So we do have those going on. Now we get down to some weird stuff. Is this like an arm cannon? I wonder if you can pop his hands off and maybe... No, I don't know what this is or where these go. I'm going to try to figure it out, though. Hmm, that is very... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It looks... Okay, so we got a little craziness here. So the forearms do break away on these guys. So make note of that. And then it looks like you can stick this into the forearm. So really, of course, as we know, foot soldiers, army builders all the time, you can extend the hand out. You can do all kinds of stuff, have bigger forearms. You can then just plug this hand in onto the end here. So you can really make these guys feel extremely different. Long, long arm on this one. You can keep the short arm. Really is choose your own adventure here. So very interesting idea. That's where these things should come with a little bit of instructions from time to time to tell you what you can and can't do, especially NECA figures, which, you know, in the past especially, not so much now, but from time to time, if you're not careful, things will break. And if you're trying to pull and put, tug on arms, not knowing what you're doing, it's a dangerous game. But that is interesting. So we get two of these forearm extenders, if you want that, really uh, playing out the robot aspect of this foot bot here. So I do like that. That is kind of cool there. Uh, and what is this? We get a little piece of like shrapnel. It looks like torn up. I don't know exactly if you just put this over his hand, put this on his arm. It just is a, a piece, a little, little conversation piece is what we'll call that one there. So we do have that. Now we're going to dive into this figure here. We're going to dive into this. Now, at first notice, it feels like a foot soldier, but feels like something's different. It feels really like a foot soldier that is pretty much 90% robot is what it feels like to me. Uh, even kind of his costume is torn and tattered a little bit. It's like he's shedding his foot soldier garb, and he's going full robot. You never go full ro robot. It's a dangerous move there, of course. Now, we do get two heads here, and this head is one that does not... The second head is very interesting, and it comes out there i don't know i don't know if it's supposed to but it's like a broken off neck so it's like a severed head from a foot soldier so it's one of those things maybe this is at his feet maybe something like that it's like uh, he had a bad day at the battle you got the head all knocked out the eyes falling out of it it's a bad battle damaged foot bot so we've seen that in the past with foot soldiers now we get one right here but you get the clean head i guess we'll call it looking very like age of ultron looks like ultron almost but all purple going on dastardly red eyes there you got a little red mohawk up over the top uh very small head too is one thing almost bird-like it gives kind of a bird-like feel to me i don't know it looks like uh, one of those with those big beaks going on it almost has one of those going on very high shoulders on this guy as well look at those shoulder pads make a, an 80s mom blush that is for sure and then you got some of that purple garb over the top and then the legs you get a little bit of trunks or i guess tights on here uh in the blackish gray smoky gray you do got some thigh guards here you got pockets all in around the belt you got all the mechanicals right there in the waist you see all those wires all that kind of stuff uh, looking interesting. He's got his Terry Steinbach shin guards, of course. He's got his foot feet as well in the purple. Uh, definitely feels like a foot soldier. Just feels like a conversation starter. Like, okay, it's a foot soldier. What's up with him? Well, he's a foot bot. Let me tell you. That's kind of how this one dives in. And of course, articulation arms go all the way around. Do you get a bicep cut? Double jointed elbows. We talked about the forearm replacement. If you want to do that, you do have that looking very mechanical, the raised up part. Very interesting there. Hands removable back forth, side to side, of course. Waist articulation, very good. You got a big hula hoop at the top, plus a traditional waist at the bottom, so that is nice. Head back forth, side to side, up and down. Plenty of movement there. Big old foot uh, bot, I almost said foot soldier, but foot bot splits if you need them. Legs do go up, but they are a little bit limited by these pockets on this belt. So make note of that. You do get single jointed knees and you got a little wire into the knees. So very strange there. You get a little side to side, but not a ton of knee articulation. You do get side to side on the boot. You do get up and down. He does have a peg hole. Does he fit in a ringside collectible stand? Of course, use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10%. I don't know. Is he going to fit? 
Oh, he fits. There we go. There we go. Use discount code Kyle, like I said, at Ringside Collectibles. Make sure you get the Mattel stands. That's where he does fit. It sounds like those Mattel stands are lost on the Panama Canal currently, so hopefully coming in stock very, very soon. But a good-looking figure here, and it is truly an army builder, and boy, I mean, it gets expensive army building, especially, uh, I hate to say last Ronin is low rung, but to me, cartoon is the best. Then I like the movie stuff. Uh, the Archie stuff's really good. Then kind of the Mirage, then last Ronin, or at least as of right now. We'll see where this goes. I would love to army build these. I would love to have a couple, like three of them in my collection. Problem is the price point. Now, if they did go to clearance, if there was a big deal on these, hey, maybe I'd swoop in and buy a couple more. But you don't see a lot of that with NECA, as we do know. But we'll see. I'll keep my eyes peeled. We'll see what ends up happening there. But for what it is, actually, this is better than expected. Uh, it looked like a little bit smaller than some NECA figures we get. But I think some of this uh, extra... Uh, playability with the removable forearms, things like that, adds a little uh, little something to this, a little pizzazz at the end of the day. So it's not as, I, I wouldn't say it was bad to begin with, but it's better than I expected it to be. How about that? We'll go with that one. And of course, we got the OG Last Ronin right side by side. And once again, this guy's scaling just feels a little bit off to me. It feels like maybe he's too big. I get these are robots, but boy, that is a huge size difference. So the turtles aren't supposed to be some big giant turtle. They're like Five feet tall is what I imagine a turtle to be. And this guy, I mean, I don't know. You guys tell me if that scaling works. It feels like they might end up redoing this one to get him kind of in line with everything else they're currently doing. I could be off on that, but that's the way it does feel to me. But there it is, the old footbot, Last Ronin NECA. What are your guys' thoughts? Is it a pickup? Is it a pass? Let me know your comments down below. And of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bells. We got videos every single day. And then some. We got even more content for you, of course, on Patreon. Early access to both YouTube channels, videos. Check out the old Patreon for all the info over there. And Patreon, best place to support this channel and all the content it does bring. You can all support the channel. Presslytees.com, search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget social media. Sir Paul64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads and on Instagram. So for the mighty footbot, I'm the mighty Kyle, and I'll see you guys all real soon.